Welcome to Money Mondays. This is a beautiful, beautiful day. I'm here with my main man, Moni, once again. And of course, we're talking about money. Now, you know, time and time again, we seem to run into situations where we notice that everyone loves the thought of money and that they want to really dive into money. Everybody wants to be rich. Everybody wants to be a millionaire. But it seems like they won't take the time to actually educate themselves. You know, I find it kind of odd that you will go to school for years and years and years to become a doctor, mm -hmm. right? And you learn everything there is to know about this medicine so that you can go out and then you can teach someone. Well, in the same fashion, you'll have children one day and you'll have to tell them that they have to make money. So why not educate yourself? Why do we... Why is that a thing? Why are we continuing to run into the same problems over and over, you think? Bro, it has a lot to do with social conditioning mm -hmm. because it is, it is psychologically hard for us to see another perspective other than our own. Yeah. And our own perspectives are most of the time being handed over to us by the generation that is gone. Ah, okay. okay. It is a human behavior. I used to have it. I don't know if you used to have it or not, but we try to get around it and educate ourselves since you have been trying to understand, you know, what it, how does this money work? Specifically because you came from a background where there was a, like a, like, like restriction, restriction on Absolutely. what you can do and you figured out, okay, now I got to handle this. Mm -hmm. Most of the people might not have that kind of restrictions or they do, have not went through that psychological pattern of like, they're so serious about their future that they want to handle this. So that might be one of the cases. And uh, yeah, so right now, we, we, me and you, we have came together because we understood that, okay, my, we got to handle this problem. Yeah. Because I don't have a fund waiting for me to like be free. I want to be free. I'm sure you wanted to be free too. Absolutely. That's why we were trying to reevaluate re and go to history to understand where this started from. Yeah, and that makes a lot of sense, man. You know, and so that gets me thinking, like how far back really has the money game been going? Like how far back in history can we trace back the use of actual money? So as far as I recall by reading history, it's about 5,000 years ago. Wow. That when, um, historically when we started trading with currency. Okay. There was money before, but it, it became currency. Okay. And it's, it was about 680 BC to 630 BC when uh, the Athenian Empire, Mm -hmm. Athens yeah. was born, and we all know from history, Athens was the pinnacle of the Roman Empire. Yeah, they were the innovators. They were the builders. They were they were above all the other civilizations at their time. Right, and then it started going downhill. Oh my, now, that sounds way, way, way too familiar. My goodness, that sounds a lot like the United States, but we ain't gonna get into that. Not today, at least. Um, so, and I, I can definitely, I know what you're saying because I saw, I've, I've done some research and things like that myself, and I noticed that, you know, Athens was really like the, the cornerstone of what you wanted out of, you know, a, a city-state, mm -hmm. especially when it came to building an empire, but something caused them to fail. Yes. Now, how is that, like, do you see any of that kind of transpiring in our world today? Definitely, man. I mean, I, I'm seeing a lot of the things that we are repeating yeah. still. And it's not only my thought, because I don't want to, like, let anybody who's watching to understand that this is, like, our own dramatic thought. Ooh, yeah. It's not. You know, we have we are trying to evaluate it. And we, when we watch people who are economists yeah. understand right. the monetary system better, and they have been talking about that, that this, we have been doing the same thing for so long. And we're still not waking up, but this time it might be in a global scale. It might dip our arrogance of what we think we are as human civilization. And finally, we might wake up. Yeah. And uh, please do ex share, like, what happened, like, in, in Athens? Because we have been doing this together. Think about this. Athens is building themselves up. They're beautiful. They have an empire. Everyone there seems to be good looking, moving in the right direction. They have learned to uh, use gold and silver, although it had been around for a long time, since the beginning of time, gold and silver has been on this earth. Let's just be frank. But Athens learned how to use it in a free market economy. They learned how to trade it and use it for goods and services. 
And so what happened there is now they have all of this and their government decides, you know what, we are going to start building and we're going to build and we're going to build. So they build, they make these huge public works projects. Sounds a lot like pipelines. I, I digress. Okay, so they, so they have these <laughs> huge, a good example. Well, you know, things happen. And so they have these huge public works projects and then they decide, you know what, we are going to get into the Peloponnesian War. Thank you.